is the smiley one? Just clap your hands. Yeah. 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 Well, Nicolas Lopez behind me, my producer and co-writer, uh, dragged me down to Chile to make Aftershock, which is where I met Lorenzo Izzo and Ariel Levy. We had such an incredible experience shooting down there. We shot with Canon cameras, we shot with 5Ds, and there was, I felt an energy and excitement that I hadn't felt since film school. And while we were making Aftershock, we finished the script for The Green Inferno. I took it to Worldview uh, Entertainment. They financed it, and we basically took the exact same cast and crew, and we rolled right into The Green Inferno. <laughs> Only this time, we got the new Canon C300 cameras, and we wanted to push it even farther. We went so far into the Amazon, we went to places cameras had never been before. It was five hours of travel every day. We almost got killed numerous times, but the footage looks incredible, and I'm really proud of the film. The bugs, oh my god, they were unbeatable. Like, no spray would take it off, like nothing. You, we were covered in bugs, like in bug bites, like our whole, whole bodies. There, there was a little bug called Isango, who literally crawled into your skin and stays there. Under. Under. Under the skin. So we had to start Under. moving the actors to more protected areas because literally they were waking up with, with bugs under their skin. I mean, I'm happy that everybody's alive. Like, for real. Because there were some days that were really, really hard and everybody was scared. Because every day somebody from the crew got really sick and I'm like, we talk about this with Ila all the time, you know, that we're lucky that nothing really bad happened because we were shooting in very dangerous conditions. Oh, Toronto. Toronto. Here we oh, are. Toronto. Changed my life. Told by Eli Roth. This interview. Chapter one. <laughs> this is the interview. I was an unknown filmmaker with an unfinished film. <laughs> Borrowing money from my parents to pay my $700 a month rent for a studio apartment on Beachwood Drive. But then, something happened where a guy named Colin Geddes, yes, the Midnight Magnus programmer, he got hold of a tape, yes, the VHS tape of my Abbott and it played it. Apparently the main festival had rejected the film, but someone said, no, this seems like Colin's thing. Well, Colin loved the film and put us in the festival. Dead last. And that's chapter one of Eli Roth. The audio, the audio book. Changed my life. Audio book, you can buy it. I can buy Eli Roth. Audio book. <laughs>